born by Babylon raised. My father never played no games, so I changed my ways. Making sure I was upright repeatedly. Then all of a sudden, my life changed immediately. Never envisioned living a life full of lust and sinning. And so I made a decision that started from the beginning. Uh, I keep my mind on a mission. I'm a prophet. So my job is to warn all the wicked. They can't stop it. Yeah, keep commandments and you'll live. Never thirst again. That living water he will give. It takes discipline. So we don't die no more. Don't cry no more. Look up at the sky no more. Don't sigh no more. Christ is coming to deliver me. He gon' set us free. I'm tired of slaving in this business. Counted the cost long time ago. I'm just waiting for the Lord to say it's time to go. Let's work. Oh, the only hope is in these laws, so we don't fall. We be here keeping commandments, man. Oh, the devil's trying to break my wall, but so we don't fall. We be here keeping commandments, man. Oh, scripture flexing with my Bible on me. Where's yours? I'm just checking, homie. Take a glance, you don't stand a chance while we got our Bibles in hand. Keep it coming. the brothers bring it out is that as, if you know you're Israel, that you're an Israelite, you have to keep God's commandments. Give me numbers uh, 15, 38. Number 15. How long have you been in the suit? How long you know you're Israel? I mean, I mean, like I said, I'm a Christian. We go back and forth. He's he trying to get me to come over. He, so we, we talk about it every single day. So you don't really get believe yet then? I don't know, man. Some stuff just okay. Uh, like I, what? A lot of stuff I believe. Is, uh, I'm like I'm 50 50. Okay, right? like what? Give me one example. He's gonna tell me that God made all these people and He's gonna send certain people. Certain people are, are, are not gonna inherit the kingdom and buy the kingdom. I don't know about that. I mean, the new son on the earth. We're gonna read what the God, what the Bible says. I know what you're about to say. He hit me with the same script. I tell you. But you don't believe. How, how can it. you call it's yourself a Christian, it. even a Christian, and don't believe what the Bible says? Right. How can you say you're a Christian? Who, can, who brought the word? Who, word? who brought the word? The word of God. Who gave us the word of God? Jesus. Right. So how can you call yourself a Christian, which is supposed to be a follower of Christ, if you don't believe in the word that he brought? Right. Bring that. It is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. So, the, so Israel is the Lord's portion. You know what that means? I mean, for the, it's a chosen. Exactly. Out of all I do, the I people, do this every day. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Read, read on. Because for their sake I made the world. What he what? Because for their sake I made the world. For the Israelites' sake, he made the whole world for That's our right. sake. Now, go to Romans 11, 26. I'll show you something else. So, in Christianity, they teach you that the Bible, that Christ loves everybody, that the Bible for everybody. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it definitely it. say that. Hold on, we're going to prove it. 11, 26, read that. Romans chapter 11, verse 26. And so all Israel. So who? And so all Israel. Who? Israel. Shall be saved. Who's gonna be saved? Israel shall be saved. That's in the New Testament. Read on. As it is written. As where? As it is written. No, our thing. As it is written. As it is written. Hold that. Go to Isaiah 45, 17. Paul was not coming with his own doctrine. Paul was teaching what was in the Old Testament. Right. 45, 17. Verse 17. But Israel shall be saved by the Lord. Say it again. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Hold that. Go back to Romans. Read Romans 11. 26. Romans 11 and verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. Is he saying anything different? Is Apostle Paul saying anything different? No, no right? Read on. As it is written. As it is written. Where? In the Old Testament. Read on. There shall come out of Zion. Out of who? Out of Zion. Out of Israel. Who? The deliverer. Who's the deliverer? Who is the deliverer? Christ. Read on. They shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. From who? Shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. He shall turn away ungodliness or sin from Jacob. Who's Jacob? The forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. His name was changed to Israel. Read on. For this is my covenant. For what? For this is my covenant. Uh huh. Unto them. Unto who? Unto them. No, everybody. Unto them. What is he saying? This is my covenant unto Israel that the deliverer of Christ will come for them to deliver them from their sin. Save them. Save Israel. Not all nations. Read on. When I shall take away their sins. He will what? 
when I shall take away their sin. Concerning Israel, Christ died for Israel to take away their sin. Right. Not the whole world. When you get this, the Bible says that Christ died for everybody. Where do you get that from? What are you going to say? You know what I'm saying? He's so low the word. Okay. Anybody explain that to you? Uh, yeah, John 3, 16. I'm whole Isaiah 45, 17. Did anybody explain John 3, 16? I forgot. I forgot. Okay. Exactly what he said. Right, we're going to explain it to you to give you clarity of the scripture. The Christian church don't know the Bible. That's right. Yo, Christian pastors don't know the Bible. They don't believe the Bible. Unless you're doing what the Bible says, you are not a Christian. Read that. John chapter 3 and verse 16. Read. For God so loved the what? world. He what? For God so loved the world. So, read on. That he, that, that, he, that he gave his only begotten son. Uh -huh. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So, now read the top again. For God so loved the world. Who did God so love to the past? Who did God so love? He loved somebody in the past. Who was it? He said, Whoa. Hold on, we don't get that. Who did he so love in the past? It's delighted in thee uh -huh. to set thee on the throne of Israel. Your? Because the Lord loved Israel. No, everybody. For, for the Lord loved Israel All nations. forever. He loved, loved Israel forever. Now go back to John 16. Now we're going to get the world for you. Read. John chapter 3, verse 16. Whoa. For God so loved so, the world. Stop. God so loved Israel, the world, in Isaiah 45, 17. The only thing the Bible is redundant. It says the same thing over and over and over again. So what's the definition of world? How many definitions are there of the world? There's a sea world. There's a basketball world. There's there's a that's an Italian world. That, there's different different definitions of the word world. Okay. Read that. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. Read. But Israel, to whom? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Read. with an everlasting salvation. How long is the salvation? With everlasting salvation. How long is everlasting? Forever. Read on. Ye shall not be ashamed uh -huh. nor confounded. Uh -huh. World. 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 What? World without end. Now go uh, drop that. Give me John, you know what, 1820. Now we're going to see if the New Testament says anything different. Read that. John chapter 18 and verse 20. Read. Jesus answered him, uh -huh. I spake openly uh -huh. to the world. Who's the world that Jesus spake openly to? Hold on. Who is the world that Jesus spake openly to, bro? Huh? Read on. I ever taught in the synagogue. Who, who was in the synagogue? We are and in the temple, uh -huh. whether the Jews, whether the Jews, who? whether the Jews uh -huh. always resort. So who was the world that God so loved? If you don't do it like that, you gotta say yes. Hold it. Give me Isaiah 28 and 10. How are you supposed to read the Bible? He said about precept of Bible. Exactly. We're gonna read that. Give me Isaiah 28 and 10. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 10. For precept must be upon precept. Oh, read this slow. For precept must what? Must. What? Must, must be upon precept. That's a commandment. Precept must be upon precept. Read on. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Line upon line. Uh -huh. Here a little. Here a little in the Old Testament. And down a little. A little in the New Testament. Now, go back. John 3, 16. John chapter 3 and verse 16. Read. For God so loved the world. He so loved, he so loved Israel, the world of Israel. Read on. That he gave his only begotten son. Who did he give his son to? Give me Acts 5. Huh? What world? World of who? Israel. That's right. Read that. Acts chapter 5 and verse 30. Read. The God of our fathers. Of who? The God of our fathers. 
the God of our Father. This God is God of everybody. Yes. Hold that. Hold John 316. Give me Luke 168. New Testament, right? Okay. They didn't say Luke 168. Luke 168. They say the same thing over and over again. There's no contradiction. The apostles, Apostle Paul, did not come with anything new. They were then reiterating what was in the Old Testament. Right. Luke 168. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. No, everybody. Of Israel. The whole world. Of Israel. Of Israel. Now give me uh, uh, John 3.16. John 3.16. Read that again. The Bible says the same thing over and over again. So read it again. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved. Who did he so love? Israel. The world. Who's the world? Israel, that he gave his only begotten son. Stop. Give me, uh, hold this. Give me Acts 5 and 30. I got some questions, but I know how this go. I'm going to see your text. Okay, hold, hold on. Acts 5 and 30. Acts, chapter 5, verse 30. The God of our the fathers. God of our fathers. The God of our fathers. The God of Israel. Raise up Jesus. Uh -huh. Who he slew and hung on the tree. Who slew Jesus? Uh, the Israelites. Read on. Him that God exalted uh -huh. with his right hand. Uh -huh. He a prince. And they saved. Is he a savior for everybody? Did Christ come to save everybody? Read on. For to give repentance. Does he came to give repentance to everybody? Absolutely. Read on. For to give repentance to Israel. To who? Israel. No, all nations. To Israel. All of the world. To Israel. Read on. And forgiveness is it. It's only for Israel, bro. That's right. We can keep, but we can go on and on and on and on. The Bible asked me a question earlier. Really. He says, is God the God of all people? Yeah. He said he's the creator of all Oh, sure. Give me so he second, is the God of all people. Okay. Second answer. 654. And he also said he do good, isn't he? Sure does. Second answer. Chapter 6, verse 54. And after thee, Adam also, uh -huh. whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So God made Adam Lord of all the creatures. Right? Read on. Of him come we all. All nations come from Adam, right? Read on. And who? And who? And uh -huh. the people also uh -huh. whom thou hast chosen to. Who did God choose? The one where I'm chosen. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Yet now here, O Jacob, my servant, uh -huh. and Israel, whom I have chosen. Who did he choose? Whom Israel, whom I have chosen. You said the world. The Bible says Israel. Go back to my second. I got a question. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Be that. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after thee, Adam also, uh -huh. whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, Lord. of him come we all, uh -huh. and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who did, who did God choose? Lord. All this have I spoken before thee, we? O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sake. He made what? The world for our sakes. God made the world for our sakes, the Israelite sakes. We are. As for the other people. As for the other nations who are not Israelite, we are. Which also come of Adam. They also come of Adam, right? We are. Thou hast said. What did God say? That they are nothing. No, no, that's not what the Bible says. They are nothing. What are the other nations? Thou hast said that they are nothing. What are the other nations? <laughs> nothing. We are. But be like unto spittle. What is spittle? Spit. God sees the other nations as spit. We are. And as like in the abundance of them. Does that mean you don't have any other people? Read that again, Isaiah 45. Isaiah chapter 45, 44 and oh, 11. 45 and 4. For Jacob, my servant's uh, sake, uh -huh. and Israel, mine elect. Who's the elect? Israel, mine elect. Who's the elect, bro? The Bible's clear. It makes it plain and clear, but what happens in the Christian church, they cloud your brain with madness. They don't teach God's word as it is written. Do we interpret anything, or do we read out the Bible? No, I got a question. Okay. No, do you understand? Do you believe that? That comes out the Bible. When I come from John, you said? John 18, 20. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hold on. 
Yeah, you, you got a pen? Give me Romans 11, 26 again. Romans 11, you didn't get the four. Salvation is only for Israel. Only for the Israelites. Christ said, King died for the Israelites. Only. Romans chapter 11, verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. Uh -huh. As it is written. As it is written. All Israel shall be saved. No one's saved now. No one's saved. We are. There shall come out of Zion. Out of where? Out of Zion. Uh -huh. The deliverer. The deliverer is Christ. Out of Zion comes the deliverer, which is Christ. We are. It shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. He's going to turn away sins from Israel. The Israelites. We are. Verse 27. For this. For what? For this is my covenant. This is God's covenant to who? Unto them. Unto the Israelites, we go on. When I shall take away their sins. He's going to take away our sins. Not the whole world. No. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 45. Wait, you want the purpose of the other nations? I could not show them, but they're actually important. Okay, read on. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 45. Read. Moreover, of the children of the strangers. Of the who? Of the strangers. Who are strangers? Nations. Of the nations, we go on. That do so join among you. Uh huh. Of them shall ye buy. They what? Shall ye buy. Who are you? Hey, bro, bro. What kind of people do you buy? Some people do buy. Yes. Who? Who gets bought? What people get bought? Slaves. Oh, servants. We are. And of their families. Of the who? Of their families. We are. That are with you. Uh huh. Which they beget in your land. In what? Our land. We are. And they shall be your possession. Wait a minute. Read that part again. And they shall be your. Bro, bro, you pay attention? We explain to you what's the purpose of the other uh, nations. Do that again. Which they beget in your land. Uh -huh. And they shall be your possessions. The other nations are going to be our possessions. What is a possession? Like my book bag is my feet. You own it. We're going to call the other nations. Read on. Verse 46. And ye shall take them. Shall what? Ye shall take them. Take them. Is that holding hands and marching? Oh. We're going to take them. Read on. As an inheritance. As in what? An inheritance. We're going to pass them along. Read. For your children. For who? For your children. They're going to be gifts to our children. They're going to be servants and slaves to our children. That's the purpose of the other nations. And you don't think this cool? I love it. That's Read on. To inherit them for a possession. For what? For a possession. To inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen. They shall be, what's a bondman, bro? What's a what? What's a bondman? I uh, know, I don't know. A slave man. Read on. Forever. Hold on. Forever. They're going to be our servants for what? They shall be your bondmen forever. They're going to be our slaves forever. Is that it or that? Yes. They, the other nations, were made to be our slaves. So why would we slay? Give me that. Huh? Why would we slay? They were made Oh, ah, now you get to the right question. Give me that. Give me that. Now you get to the right question. The other nations don't matter in the scheme of things. The Bible is only for the Israelites. It talks about the Israelites, how we fell of uh, breaking God's laws. And the only way to get back in our rightful rulership, our rightful place, is to repent, keep God's laws and the faith of Christ as Israelites. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All nations. All who is Moses giving the word to? 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Shall come to pass means in the future. Read. If thou wilt not hearken. If you will not listen. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Which is this Bible. To observe. To what? To observe. To understand. To do. To what? To do. And to do what? All his commandments. How many commandments? All his commandments. No, just the All his commandments. Read on. And his statutes. Uh -huh. Which I command thee. No, he asks us. Command thee, negotiate. Command thee, command us this day, read on. This day, that all these curses, all these what? Curses. Are curses bad or good? Yeah. Read on. Shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. That's why we're in the condition we're in right now. Because we broke God's law. We disobeyed God's law. And the Bible says that uh, we would do greater works than Jesus Christ. Right. That's because, like, like right now, you can, you can preach a day, right? you can preach it to buy, to preach. Do you think, do you think that's why they said, um, 
it's for Israel because, do you think that's why they say this is for Israel because they couldn't, that, that's all they knew, they, they couldn't come to this part of uh, the world. Gotcha. Give me Matthew 2 and guys. We can preach to everybody if you're the, if you're, that's all you know. I got you. This one scripture here confounds the Christian. We're going to read it and explain it to you. All right? Hold on. I, I know where you're at. Read that. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Read. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. This is Christ talking, right? He says, go and teach all nations. Read on. Baptizing them uh -huh. in the name of the Father and of the Son uh -huh. and of the Holy Ghost. Now, now give me Deuteronomy 4, 27. What does he mean by all nations? Okay. Remember how you write to read the Bible. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you. Scatter you among the nations. Among who? Among the nations. God scattered us among the nations. We live on the four corners of the earth. We're in every nation. Among every nation on the earth. We got Israelites in Korea. Israelites in Turkey. Israelites in Amsterdam, Israelites in South America, North America, in Canada, all over the world, among the nations. So when Christ said, go and teach the gospel to all nations, he's talking about his people, the scattered. You can do that. They couldn't do that. That's the difference. They, they were doing it. So Jesus is over here. Okay. Did he Hold on. Him? Who did he give this commandment to? To Israel. That's because he couldn't get over there. How could he ever know both like that? 15, James 1 and 1. James 1 and 1. We're going to see what the disciples, who they are writing the letters to. All right? You know, because this, remember, Israel was scattered, right? To all nations, right? Yes or no? He said, Yes or no, bro? Yes or no? Okay, they weren't scattered. That's what he just read. We said, Chapter 1, verse 1. Read. James, a servant of God uh -huh. and of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. to the 12 tribes which are scattered, Who? which are scattered what? abroad. The 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. So when, when the letters were going to, hold on, to, to Ephesus, Corinth, Galatia, those were the Israelites that were scattered abroad That's out of right. Jerusalem. Ephesians 1 and 1. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. by the will of God, by, what? by the will of God, no, no, no. to the saints, to the who? To the saints. Who the saints? Who are what? Who are the saints? Who are the saints? Remember, we speak in God's words. Read that. Isaiah, 
chapter 48, verse 12. Read. Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my call. Israel, my call. Romans chapter 1, verse 7. Read. To all that be in Rome, uh -huh. beloved of God. Israelites. Called Israelites. To be saints. Who, who the saints? So how is Rome, the Romans, talking about all nations? He's only talking about the Israelites. What's your question, bro? You understand that? I, I, okay, I got it. Uh, thus saith the Lord. Not my opinion. Not what I say. What the Bible says. Do you understand? Is, no, no. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah, I do. Okay. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.